welcome to today's video so in this video i'm gonna share with you how i edit on luma fusion so just a disclaimer this video is for people that know a little bit about how luma fusion works and this is not a beginner's guide but let's get into this video so now that we're in luma fusion the first thing i do is i create a new project so i press on this button and then i name my project so this video's name is going to be let's say ios 15 and then you press this button on the top so let's look at aspect ratio so then i'm gonna say 16 by 9 because that is the aspect ratio of a youtube video and then i press this button on the top so now what i do is i insert my clips so i press on this button on the left corner and i say photos so here i go to photos and i say videos so here's all my videos from my gallery so then I select the clips I want to insert. So I'm going to insert this clip, insert this clip, and this clip, and the last one is that. So now that I inserted my main clips that I filmed, I'm going to insert my intro and outro. Again, I go to on the left top and I go to imported other apps and then I insert my intro video and the beginning. There you can see and then i go to the end and i insert my end screen okay so now i'll do the fine tuning later so the second thing i do is i do my color correction before cropping my clips okay so then i double tap on my clip on the timeline and then i go to color and effects on the bottom over here then i go to this cube and then I say orange dolphin. This is the LUT we use. And then we say on the bottom, I usually say 70 or 0.65. But I'm going to say 0.70. So it depends on how your video looks. I'll have a link in the description of the LUT we use. And sometimes I would like to make corrections like with saturation if needed. So you just see how your clip looks and if it is too bright or too dark, you can do your alterations where you'd like. So then if you have other clips that you have to put in lights as well, what you can do is you can press on this clipboard and say copy. Make sure it was selected and then press on the next clip. Click on the clipboard again and say paste. So over there you can see there is the icon and your light was copied and pasted. So the next one, as you can see, there is a difference. I'm gonna press on it again, clipboard, paste. So it is just much quicker to do it that way. So the third thing I do is I do my basic cuts. So wherever I see silent parts, you press on the scissor right here because you know where you were silent and then you can just cut out the main parts i know here i struggled a bit with my words okay so now that i did most of my basic cuts now what i do is i go through the whole video and listen to it and then i cut the finer parts and then i look the whole video over then what i do is i add additional graphics like text photos or overlay videos so what i do is if there is a part where i said something i would press on this button the circle with the plus sign and say overlay title so if i press on that i double click on the timeline where it says your text click on the text and then i can type so here I'm just going to say text and then I click on the text right here and then I change my font. So the font I like to use for my videos is that the first one. I have no idea how to pronounce that one. Bebas. I don't know what. Let's choose that one. And then I change the color. Let's say black. So it depends on what your background is. If you have a dark background, you would use white and if you have a white background you would use black so the text is easy to read then you can change the size as well let's put it there and if you scroll down you can change the shadow color or you can add shadow 
can change the distance and or you can blur it you can just go here and play around with all the settings so there you can see there is my text that I added so if I want to add a photo I go to the file on top and say photos let's go to an album I created video effects and here I have my image that I want to insert so I'm just gonna insert it right there so then you can change the duration of your image so I'm just gonna put it like that so now when you have your video you can just play and then you can see the image pops up and then disappears again as I said something so let's just delete this part now I want to add just a image for where I say something so then I I just downloaded this image from the internet as a PNG so I insert this image over here double click on it and then I'm gonna change the size and rotate it a bit and if I go out it would look something like this just like that and then you can also add other clips like the b-roll go to videos then I'm gonna just add this clip over here okay, let's put it there so then you'd have your b-roll clip over your a-roll so the next thing I like to use in my videos is stickers green screens and sound effects so what I do I go to the top left so what I do is I click on photos over here and go to albums. Here I have an album that says green screens. Let me just find it. There it is. Then I have all these green screens that I've created from Canva. So I'm just going to select this mouse right here. Then I'm going to double tap on it. And I'm going to go to this key here and say green screen key. So you can see sometimes it looks a bit blurry but you can change the edge blur radius and just play around with the settings. So now I'm going to go to frame and fit and then I'm just going to change some settings to make it look good. So let's see how this one looks like. Okay, so then I'm just going to let it go down a bit, put it over there. Okay, so if I play it. There is my green screen. And if I want to add a sound effect, there are sound effects that you can download from the internet and set imported. I have it at shared. There I have my mouse click and I can just add that for some effect. So then it will sound something like this. You can select the text and... Okay, so the next thing I do is I see if a clip needs to be stabilized or if it's a bit wobbly I double click on my clip and I press on this button underneath stabilize so if we say light or medium or strong you will see it will crop your image a little bit but that is the only way that you can stabilize it so here you can see the main object it makes sure that that is stabilized so let's say for instance, I want this image at another part in my video. The easiest way to do that is you don't have to go to your photos and insert it but there. You can just say on the bottom, on the far left, duplicate. So then you can take your image and you can place it where you want it to be. And there it is as easy and fast as that. So the last thing I do is I add my music. I like to add background music to my videos so it is not that quiet and awkward silent moments there is just is a nice flow to it so i go over here say files here is my music folder i imported from files so here is all the music we have so then i just look for a song that goes with the mood of my video so let's just take this song and import it on the bottom so you can have six layers on the top and six layers on the bottom so you can really play around with it let's crop the music over here delete that part and i'm going to duplicate the song and put it over there so you must just listen to your song so that it transitions smoothly 
then I'm going to do it again and again and again till my whole video has music so then I'm going to split it over here and place this part on the bottom you'll see why I do that in a second I always put my music's volume on minus 30 so that it doesn't clash with my audio and my video so it's just nicely at the background so here I have just an end screen so then I'm gonna cut my music over here and when this is done I'm gonna add a transition so I'm gonna add this transition at the end of my music and another transition at the beginning of the second layer so now you can hear how that part sounds because I didn't speak at the end screen I'm gonna make the music louder just to create a nice ending and I'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys have a like a day bye <laughs>